Hey guys, how's it going? My name is Always, and welcome back to Skybees. In the last episode, we were expanding our hexagon a little bit um, to get some farm set up and uh, basically just kind of continue working with the bees. Um, we're almost ready uh, to start getting into the resourceful bees, which will be fun because we'll start getting gravel and iron and basically whatever we need from bees um but we have a little bit of work to do before we get there um first of all i've expanded the platform um figuring out how to get the uh the the hexagons to match up was a little bit tricky um hopefully i'm doing it right and hopefully it'll look good once i'm done uh, but it should be fine uh, i'm gonna probably continue this one get this hexagon here and probably do this one next uh, but we just need to get more room i have considered filling it in with the cobblestone bricks um but i decided meh we'll just use cobblestone also apologies if the frame rate starts lagging because i have been having a lot of issues with this mod pack in particular and i don't know why um i just get randomly like huge lag uh, and lose all of my frames and it's awful and annoying because I can't figure out what it is. It is not memory. Memory is fine. Um, so I don't know what's going on. But anyways, we'll soldier through and get done with that. So what are we going to do today? Well, first of all, I would like to automate the bees a little bit. Um, we need to get a little bit of automation with these guys just so that we can you know, not have to go in there manually all the time. Um, so we're going to, we're going to just use what, uh, the book suggested and make this setup here, um, with some just simple redstone. It looks like it's four repeaters and a comparator. Now, before we can do that, we are going to need a comparator and I already have it over here. Um, the comparator requires nether quartz. Now, that's a little bit of an issue because we need soul sand. Um, it's not an issue to get it because it's a 100% drop. Um, but the soul sand is kind of annoying because um, the only way we can really get it is to turn witch water into... Uh, is using witch water, rather, to turn sand into uh, soul sand. So that that's what we're going to do. We have that. Um, we're also going to need a bunch of clay and sand today. So we're going to we're going to be breaking down a lot of stuff and all that kind of fun stuff because um, we're going to go ahead and while we're kind of waiting for the bees to do their thing, um, that bee, by the way, can't get into the, the beehive uh, because, well, it doesn't store enough bees, which is a little bit unfortunate. But I need to be kind of on top of this so we can get our first resourceful bees. We have one more bottle of honey to get. And I'm not entirely sure which bees we're going to get first. Um, dust bees might be a good idea because that's going to get us to redstone bees. So redstone bees are uh, dust and sieve. Um, so that would be a good idea. Uh, the other bee that would be nice to have is iron bees, uh, and iron bees are sieve and sand. So maybe we'll go for the sieve first, but I think I'd rather have something that's a little bit more useful. So I have been working. I do have some grass in reserves um, so we can get that guy upgraded, uh, and we're going to make a bee box so that we can do a little bit of work. So. Uh, yeah, we have a lot of things to do. Let's let's just get into this. So we need to get some soul sand Just one piece of soul sand will be enough and I'm gonna go ahead and smelt up You know, we don't have a use for the charcoal because I have so much coal from sifting um, I've been sifting a little bit here and there But we're just gonna do that and get that going. All right, so this goes in here gives us soul sand perfect we go deal with that we sift it and yeah there is the frame rate issues uh i can feel it but this will give us quartz and the quartz is all we need to get the comparator and then the frame rate goes way up i have no idea i'm gonna try to fix it but i am sort of at a loss of what is actually causing the issues so that's a problem um wood 
How much wood do we have? We have plenty. Let's take just like a stack. Uh, okay. So we're going to need to make a comparator. And uh, a couple of redstone torches. Uh, we're also going to need some stone. And let's see. We're going to need three of these guys. One, two, three. Uh, and then we're also going to need stone. So let's go ahead and make. We have plenty of cobblestone. Let's go ahead and make another furnace. Eventually we will make a blast furnace because they are better. Um, they are quicker. And let's take half of that out. And just smelt up a bunch of cobblestone. So something else we need to do. Uh, so we have, we have to make four repeaters and a comparator um, plus have a little bit extra redstone which we should have enough um, but just in case we're gonna make the dust be first which is gonna require some dust um, but before we can do all of that I want to make a bee box bee boxes are really really cool um, they can hold up to 10 bees a part like uh, the empty bee jar will only hold one we can hold 10 with it um, but we're going to need to make a manual centrifuge first. And so that is going to take some planks and slabs to make a barrel. And then we're going to need two sets of trap doors. Which, don't we get multiple of these? No. Uh, I don't think I've ever made iron trap doors. Uh, so we need two of these. And then I think it's just a lever. And we should be able to make a manual centrifuge. Perfect. So that is a quest and an advancement. Um, but this is going to allow us to start getting a little bit more stuff. So let's just put that right here. And if we put bottles in there, um, no, bad bee. We're going to take both of these out. Um, because the cool thing is, we could just start, you know, only using uh, honeycombs instead of using both uh, the honey bottles and honeycombs. We're going to need one more bottle after that. Um, whoops, I didn't think of that. Uh, we need more glass. Wow, we are, we need a lot of things. Anyways, we could put this in here. And if we process a couple of honeycombs, which we need to in order to get the beeswax, uh, beeswax will come from any honeycomb with a percent chance. Uh, the one we have should give us sugar. There's a lot of things. So let's just look at the honeycombs. <laughs> um, so it will give us sugar and it's a 25% chance to get beeswax. Uh, and a 20% chance to get a honey bottle. So we'll go ahead and do one. And we probably have to right click this with an empty hand. Shift right click. Does it tell us? No. Yeah. So one full cycle. And we get the beeswax. We got one beeswax from that. Uh, we need another. But we did get the... Uh, we did get the other thing. Um, so let's put these guys in here. Uh, we did get the beeswax and we did get a bottle of honey. So that's that's cool. Um, let's get a little bit of sand so that we can cook it up and make glass. And the sugar is not super useful for us right now, but it might be later. Uh, we're going to need one iron for the bee box. And... I would just like a little bit of glass so that we can get uh, potentially another honey bottle and have the honey blocks that we need. So, yes, this is manual to do, but it's honestly really, really nice and easy. Uh, and eventually we will get automated uh, centrifuges, but let's see we got the beeswax we didn't get anything else okay that's fine let's go ahead and make the bee box 
So there is the bee box. Cool. And it's full of bees. <laughs> well, not currently. But this can hold up to 10 bees, which is really, really nice. Uh, we should have enough stone. We can make the comparator. And then we can make four. One, two, three, four of those. And hopefully, with that, we can automate our first beehive. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going we're gonna to move all the bees over there. Uh, we also need to get more, more things. So one thing that is a concern is that uh, the honeycombs don't actually drop where I'd like them to. Um, and we still need one more bottle. So let's just see if we can get... There we go. Honey bottle. Perfect. Uh, we'll put that away. We'll put these guys away. Um, beeswax, by the way, I don't know what all it can be used for. We are going to need it for tier 2 beehives, um, which have a time modifier, which is really nice. Uh, but we're also going to need it for some other things, and it looks like we can use it to smelt things. So there are ways we can use it. Um, whether or not those ways are good or not, I don't know. But anyways, we can take the honey bottles, and now we have four honey blocks. And, even better, we get our glass bottles back, which is really nice. So, um, yeah, that is one step closer to a bee. <laughs> um, and you know what, let's go ahead and let's see, we can make one of those. Uh, I have sticks. I guess I kind of want to make this one first, just to see what it is. Uh, I don't know what the sieve bee is going to give us but it might be cool. So now we just have to wait for that to fill up a couple more times and we'll be good. So while we're waiting for that, um, we have the bee box now uh, and the tier one beehive. I kind of know how to make those. If I need to make more, I can look it up. Uh, and we have both of these. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna build. And how do I wanna build this? You know what? I wanna make this look kind of nice, but I don't know what all we could use vertical oak planks you know that might actually look nice so uh let's grab a little bit of wood and there we go vertical oak planks um what we're gonna do is we're gonna come over here and we're gonna make a couple of rooms. So, uh, I, hmm, let's make cobblestone bricks. No, hmm, do I have any other materials? I just wanna find something that's gonna be kinda of nice to use that isn't like super ugly. Uh, this is probably gonna be temporary until I can decide exactly what I wanna use. Uh, but we don't have enough. We don't have enough stone, and I didn't realize we had the iron in there. I need to keep the iron in here, I think. Um, yeah, we, we have stone. We can use some stone bricks. And that will be nice for a base. And I don't think we should need too much more, um, but we can go ahead and throw that in there. And apparently this is just a rainstorm, not a thunderstorm. Um, so what we're going to need to do is kind of match this setup. So uh, we're going to have, uh, let's see, how do we want it? We, I want to be able to see the bees. So I want the bees here. So we're going to do things like this. So one, two, three. Do this a five a three by three, not F three F seven. Make sure everything is lit. Um, we'll have the beehive. Actually, hmm, because the beehive is we can. How do I want to do this? I think going it doing it that way is probably going to be the best option. So we'll have the uh, dispenser there. 
So let's go ahead and make another dispenser, uh, which I believe we just need three string. And we are going to need another stick. Uh, dispenser. Oh, and then we need the dropper. Right. I forgot. It does require redstone. So there is the dispenser. And... If we put that there, the hive will be up one. And will that work... No. Because we need this to be up one. And block lag. Cool. So we'll do something like that. We'll have dispenser. And then beehive. Uh, and then... Let's see, we're going to need a little bit more of these guys. And I actually don't want anything in the front. Um, just break all those. So we're gonna we're gonna just build another little cage here, basically, um, but it's gonna be much smaller. And we'll have the dirt here, which I don't have any dirt on me, but we do have plenty of dirt back here. Um, oh, the storm is apparently. Did I sleep through it? No, <laughs> I'm losing my mind. Uh, let's see. Let's grab some dirt. They're not done pollinating uh, and making me more honey. All right, so we'll put the dirt here. Uh, and then we can just kind of do something like that. This is, for the record, um, if I kept this, this platform would be a block higher. Uh, so that is a thing, but it's fine for now. Uh, we'll get some flowers. And then it's just a matter of kind of making sure there's light and all that. Uh, let's just get rid of one of the dirt. Uh, we want to make sure that there's light in here. We don't want things spawning. Uh, and then the redstone, the comparator goes here. On that block um, so the comparator is here and I think the comparator will block bees from getting out nope other way so we want to take a signal out of there and I understand kind of okay so I'm not the best at redstone I'll be honest but I do kind of understand what's going on with the redstone in this um, basically what we're doing is we're checking to see the levels of the honeycomb the not the honeycomb the uh, beehive to see if it is ready to be uh, collected. And we'll just do, um, we'll do the back wall to be like this. And we will need to go up a little bit. And that should be fine. So um, we can put the dirt back We'll need to make this a little bit nicer. And what I might do is put some blocks here um, so we can come up to it and look at it. So for the time being, we're just going to put one block, something like that. Uh, and then I'm going to make this glass. And let's do a two, three, something like this. And I am going to need more, more stone. And 
And honestly, we can just do this. Ow. Make sure we're not anywhere close to the edge. All right, so this will look kind of nice. Um, I don't know if F7 is on or not. Okay, it is. Everything in here lit up. Uh, I will need to put a torch up here. And yeah, we're having lag issues again. I can feel it. Yeah, it goes from like 70 to 30. It's really, really annoying and really kind of random. Um, okay, so first off, we're going to... Uh, do we need any more oak planks? I don't believe so. So we can put that away. Uh, we need a little bit more stone and we are going to need uh, a little bit more glass. Let's get a bit more glass going. Uh, we're going to need quite a bit of sand today regardless. Um, but for this little part, uh, just a little bit should work. So there is one concern I have, and that is exactly what just happened. Um, we are going to be getting honeycombs, which is cool, uh, but we need to collect those. And we might need to use a vacuum hopper. Um, so that is... That is the question of whether or not we need to make that or not. Uh, let's make just a few more bricks. And hopefully this will be enough. So here is the little viewing platform. And I think just four more will be good. One, two, three, four. Perfect. All right. So now all we have to do is one two three we can make a bunch of these cobblestone bricks four this is for the repeaters and this block um i'm just gonna leave open i think that'll be my access so four and then it requires a block right here. And yeah, this is a little close to the edge, but it's okay. We do one, two, three, and four. And then we just cover this with redstone. So presumably, That is all we need to do. Um, that should be automatic for this guy. So all we need to do now is um, one, put a B in there, seal it up, and um, you know what? Let's make a trap door. And I do wanna get into there if need be. Um, <laughs> B. But I don't know, I don't know what's going to be the best way to do that. Um, we're also going to need just a little bit more glass. Okay. So, we just put the glass like so. Um, how can we do, I mean, we could just break this and put a trap door. Uh, and we could also put some ladders here. I think that's what we'll do. Just to make it so that we can kind of get into them. Um, now, I'm going to need to figure out, for the time being, uh, we are going to have to kind of use these automatic uh, beehives. How'd they change ladder recipes? It's a... Okay, I didn't know cork changed the ladder recipe. That's fine, but I didn't realize that was a thing. Okay, um, so yeah, we're, we're going to want to have things like this every once in a while, um, just because of how uh, everything's gonna work. So we need to, to go up this side. And I can always put a trapdoor here if I wanted to. Uh, 
wrong way. But it doesn't really matter. Uh, nothing's going to get out there anyways. So who cares? Uh, and hopefully, hopefully the, the honeycombs and all that kind of stuff will actually kind of go where I want it to. But I don't know if it will. Um, now the other thing we're gonna have to do is we need to we need to upgrade that beehive, um, and I'm not entirely sure how we're supposed to break it. I don't remember, but uh, I'm gonna leave it for now. Uh, let's see what it was that I wanted. I need more ladders, so let's get another set of ladders. Uh, it is a little bit more expensive, but you do get the extra ladder, which is nice. Uh, we can go ahead and fill that in with glass. Perfect. And the thing is, is this is supposed to be somewhat module. Uh, if we want to make more of these right next to it, we easily can. And we just only need one, one ladder up, and that's it. Um, so we can do a lot of these um, until we get to the apiaries, which are much more complicated structures, uh, which are these structures down here. I'm not going to be able to do anything. And to make the apiaries, we need nether stars. So, yeah, that ain't happening anytime soon. Although there is withered bees. Which sounds pretty cool. Um, I would like that, I think. So, let's, let's clean up the inventory just a little bit. Uh, and... Yeah, that's the most we can clean up right now. Um... Uh, yeah, everything should work. We need to grab some shears for, you know, getting the honeycombs. There is another thing. I think it's called a scraper. Uh, let's see. Scraper. Yes, this guy. Um, Right-click on tiered beehives to collect honeycombs. And it's a little bit... It allows you to collect one at a time, but it's also a little bit uh, more expensive. So I think we could just use shears on these guys. Hopefully that's the case. Um, if it's not, then we'll have to deal with that. But um, yeah, I'm gonna. I need to do research into bees. I've never really missed mess with the bees all that much to know exactly what to do with them. Um, but yeah, we are gonna make these bees next, so we can make. We need three more honeycombs. So once that fills up one more time, we should be good. Uh, now, for the rest of the episode, which we're going to try to go fairly quickly, um, we're going to make kiln bricks and coke bricks from immersive engineering. Um, these are two quests, and it will let us get started in immersive engineering. Uh, and I want mostly the coke bricks because that's going to be super important. Um, so we need 27 of these, and that's going to require a lot of clay. Uh, and nine sandstone. So... Let's balance this and get nine sandstone. Uh, and then we're going to need a good bit of clay. Uh, so we're gonna probably wanna grab some more sand. And I'm just gonna go ahead and grab the sand from over here. So we have 51 sand. Um, Let's see exactly how many are we gonna. We need nine recipes of this, uh, and that is two blocks of clay each. So we need eighteen blocks of clay. No, um, nine recipes. Yeah, nine recipes times two. That is eighteen blocks of clay. So let's just do that. Uh, and we could just do this right over here. Not a, not a problem. Uh, and later on, we are going to make more stuff. Um, but the only annoying thing about this is making the clay. And so we need nine blocks of this to be turned into bricks. And that's not too bad. It's just a little annoying. Uh, and it might take a little bit of time. So while we're waiting on that, we can work on the alloy cannon. Um, so that should be enough for there. And then we just need to do three more sets of this. 
Um, you know what? Something we can do. Let's see. Um, blast Furnace, I believe, can smelt... Can it smelt bricks? Or is it just metal? Um... You know, it'd probably be easier just to look at bricks. Smelting. No, it cannot go into the blast furnace. Okay. Um, so it's going to be 10 seconds each, which is really annoying. But it's fine. Um, blast furnace is only metals. I, I had hoped that maybe it was also bricks. But no. Um, that's okay, though. It'll give us some time to hopefully get more honey homes, which we have. Um, so let's get that. And cooked bricks, these are in the corner. Perfect. Um, so let's get the honey combs. That should be exactly enough so we can make our first non- uh like vanilla b and we have a crafting table over here we're just going to go use that and let's make the sieve b now i am not going to make multiple of these the reason being uh if we look at the sieve bees sieve sieve um these guys we can breed um to breed them we can breed them with themselves and with just poppies and it will always give us a normal seed bee um however we can try it with other bees and potentially um there is a chance that we'll get something else so it's a 70 percent chance with the sand bees to get the iron bees but 30 percent of the time i think what will happen is we'll get one of the parents and so that's how we're going to duplicate these bees now i don't know if these guys produce anything um i'll be perfectly honest it has honeycomb false. Um, so I don't know that these guys do anything, but um, we have them. <laughs> and that's all that matters. So you know what? What we're going to do, let's go ahead and put them in here. And we're going to put these guys in here. Um, so can we make a, is there a smoker? Is there a handheld one? Yes. How do we make that? It's going to require leather. Can we make leather from prepared flesh? We can, but it's going to take a lot of zombie flesh. Otherwise, um, which is apparently a smoker recipe. Okay. Here is the rest of the bees. So we're going to just capture all of these bees. Um, and then we're going to put them in the other place. So this other hive, I believe the tier one hives can store more bees. Um, and we could put grass there. Um, we might eventually, but if we come down here, yeah, there can be four bees. And now there's one, two, three, four. Perfect. So theoretically, this will automatically make us honey. Um, now, I know, I know, the bees are in a very small place. We'll fix that later. Um, I will be nice to the bees. But uh, one thing that we kind of have to make note of is there is the chance that we're going to need a ender hopper. Now, I have an iron ender. I have blaze powder. We can make hoppers. We can make obsidian. So we can do this. It's just going to be kind of annoying if we need to. Now, the only question is, will the bees only come out this way? I really hope so. And so just in case, I kind of want to... It says there's... What are they doing? I'm going to keep two bees. Uh, and you know what? I'm going to keep them over there uh can we can we fix this i think we can we break this um
and put that on top of there. That should be better. Uh, the bees should not uh, get stuck in that little corner. Uh, hopefully, anyways. So, this will presumably work. Um, but we do have a couple of bees, just in case. Uh, and we're almost done with this. Cool. So we'll make the coke oven. Uh, the coke oven is a little bit more important than the alloy kiln. Uh, we'll get that another time. Um, that's going to be a little bit more expensive on sand. Um, but it is a 2x2x2 two by two by two instead of the kiln, the, the not the kiln, the uh, coke oven being a 3x3x3. Three by three by three. So... Just do that, and there is the Coke Bricks. Now that will give us a reward, and it's the hammer, which is really nice. So that is gonna allow us to make coal Coke, which is just coal. Uh, and so I'm gonna get a stack of coal from sifting. Um, let's do half a stack, actually. And we're gonna just put this somewhere over in this area. Uh, let's just put it right here. One, two, three. One, two, three. Two, three. And this thing is super important because it's the kind of the first step into making steel from uh, immersive engineering. And this hammer is usually pretty annoying to make because it requires iron. <laughs> um, and it's usually an early thing you get, so it's not usually something I wanna I wanna make too often. Um, but that is going to give us. Uh, coal coke and creosote oil and creosote oil is even more important because it's going to allow us to start getting into um, power and so that should be fun uh, anyways that is going to be it for today's episode I'm gonna sleep I'm gonna kind of keep an eye on these bees in their new little home and presumably I can break that hive but I don't know how that stuff works, so I'm not going to do anything uh, yet with that. But yeah, hopefully hopefully the bees don't come out. I think the bees are stuck in there uh, in terms of like they won't go uh, they won't go through the redstone. And so the only like places they can come out is in those three spots. But hopefully... Honey level is two. So I'm going to keep an eye on it and at some point... Um, kind of watch and see where the honey comes out. And if I need to get a ender hopper over here, that's something we can do. But that's going to be it for this episode. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!